Hello there guys, what is going on? Son of Chelsea back here again for my rational perspective on Chelsea 2, Wolves 0. Chelsea have qualified for the Champions League next season. Finally, to be able to say those words, um, almost in disbelief how easy that became for Chelsea, how stress-free it was in the end for Chelsea. An incredible performance by Frank Lampard's men. Um, there's so much to get into. I'm going to do like a full season review type video, I'm sure, in the coming weeks. Um, so, of course, we need to talk about the game today. But I think so much credit has to go to one man. And, of course, his coaching staff as well. But Frank Lampard, I think back to 12 months ago where Chelsea, all right, we got Champions League football. We just won a Europa League, but we lost our manager in Maurizio Sarri. The fan base was fractured because of that season. We just lost our best player player and in Hazard to Real Madrid and we had a transfer ban and there was a bunch of young players coming into the team that we didn't know how they were going to cope this season. Frank Lampard only in his second year of management. There was a belief from a lot of people that this season was almost a write-off for Chelsea. Also looking at the, the spend of teams like Man United, of Tottenham, of Arsenal, that Chelsea just wouldn't be able to compete this season properly without that investment. But the job Frank Lampard has done, yes, there are negatives to this season. There are things that I'm sure all of us will be frustrated with. But if you would have told any Chelsea fan that this is the way it would have concluded um, back in August, especially after that 4-0 defeat to Man United on the opening day, I think most fans may have even laughed at you because to see how Chelsea have developed, have grown the positives of this season, and when it really mattered, Frank Lampard's team stepped up. Um, incredible day for Chelsea, incredible performance when it mattered. Um, and Chelsea have Champions League football, which is absolutely massive for this club. Chelsea, to be a top club, need Champions League football to be sustainable. We've known this for a while, which has increased the pressure in recent weeks. But let's get to the game because I'm talking a little bit too much about sort of the outside factors here that I'm sure we're going to delve into in the coming weeks for sure. But he made a big decision, Frank, in uh, bringing back Willy Caballero. That's why I expected, um, but I think it needed to be made, and I think it was obviously the right decision. Chelsea getting a clean sheet, which is rare this season. Willy Caballero is not a world class goalkeeper. You know, he isn't going to solve our problems, but it's just quite clear now, based on the performances against Man United and Wolves, that there's just that assurance, extra assurance, and clearly more chemistry and more belief and, and trust from the defence to Willy Caballero instead of Kepa. Um, there was one moment in the first half where a cross came in that looked a little bit dodgy of course most keepers all keepers should be saving that and tipping that over the bar um, like Willie Caballero did but still he dealt with it and really in the game Chelsea limited Wolves to barely anything especially at the second half I mean game management has been something that has troubled Chelsea since pre-season all the way up to you know now and the fact that they that second half was so impressive to me it really was how we killed off that game um, certain performances were just so impressive outstanding really considering the pressure of the occasion as well um, but of course knowing Golo Kante fingers crossed he's ready we've got a full week now which feels amazing considering the congested fixtures recently hopefully Kante will be ready for that uh, FA Cup final against Arsenal um, but of course, you know, rest of the team pretty similar, of course, to recent games. Uh, Georgie Cover in the middle, um, same back three, Alonso, uh, Reese James, Mason Mount. Uh, instead of William, William was injured. So, of course, Mason Mount was going to start Christian Pulisic and Olivier Giroud. It was very tense all the way up to half time, wasn't it? Until, of course, we scored that opening goal. Um, it was a game that looked like Chelsea didn't have much rhythm going forward. The balls weren't really sticking for either Christian Pulisic or Olivier Giroud. And it looked like out of the two teams, Wolves were more likely to score um, in that opening half. But a massive moment. You know, it is a free kick, of course, against Alonso. And I know Wolves will, be, will feel hardly done by... In some ways, I think Frank may look at it and go, you know, think about the Trent Alexander-Arnold free kick the other day that Chelsea felt harshly done by, uh, of course, getting awarded against them. Maybe there's a bit of, you know, uh, what goes around comes around for Chelsea, a little bit of karma coming back. Um, but I think it was a free kick. I, I still do. I don't think it's as bad a decision as maybe the Wolves players made it out to be. But then the free kick and you've got Marcus Alonso and Mason Mount. Mason Mount has been trying all season to score a free kick. And when he when he had to, he did. What an incredible free kick by Mason Mount. I think Mason Mount has become such an essential player for Frank Lampard this season. The amount of football that guy has played, considering his age, considering this is his first season in Premier League football, playing for a club like Chelsea, the way he's taken it in his stride, the way he's dealt with setbacks like all of the Chelsea teams. I think... 
Symbolically, I think Mason Mount represents this season so well. I think the positives and the negatives, he is raw, he is erratic, he can be inconsistent, he can uh, be naive, you know, he can make mistakes. But I think the positive side of his game, which you saw today, was he such a creative player, a raw player who will try things on a football pitch. And that pressing nature, once again, that we saw against Man United, that Mason Mount was crucial to, we saw it again against Wolves, especially in that second half. Mason Mount scores that goal, it's incredible. But then as well, seeing Chelsea go 2 0 up before half time, once again Mason Mount uh, essential in that goal and once again the pressing just fast movement and I think that goal once again Olivier Giroud who's been incredible a hero for Chelsea in the back end of this season I, you would have never thought that Olivier Giroud would have done what he has done for the remainder of the season uh, back in January when it looked like he had packed his bags and was going to be out of Stamford Bridge He's been incredible. He really has. What is that? Seven goals now since the restart. I mean, if Diego Costa did that, you'd be calling him a world-class striker. I think Giroud, maybe we've underestimated Giroud. Um, I really hope he stays. What an incredible player and individual he's been for Frank Lampard and has scored at all the right moments once again. And that was a massive goal for Chelsea. Um, and yeah, I think it. I think it's telling as well, attacking-wise, as the game went on. Pulisic didn't really have his best day. Um, and, you know, hopefully he turns up for the FA Cup final. But, you know, if you want, you know, one day where we thought it was all going to be on Christian Pulisic, but that's what Chelsea need to be. You know, we need to be a team. We can't just rely on Christian Pulisic's magic week in, week out. Christian Pulisic had a good hand in that second goal, of course, but uh, um, the other players really stepped up. And I thought defensively as well, I think the back three, um, Dave using all of his experience and now so over the years today, really getting there. And I, I loved how many times Chelsea when, say, a Wolves player like Adama Traore would get past one of our players, there'd always be another blue shirt there ready to get the ball back. Mateo Kovacic, I thought, was absolutely outstanding today. I saw some analysis before the game and, and was saying about, you know, Chelsea's midfield and lacking Kante and, you know, can Kovacic win the ball back for you? And I, you know, some people saying that he can't do that. I think today proved absolutely he can. For me, Kovacic's tackling is one of his biggest assets and the way Chelsea dealt with Adama Traore in that second half was exceptional. Uh, Adama Traore tried several times to go one-on-one -on -one with Alonso, but Kovacic Kovacic was there. Kovacic helped out. I believe in the first half, quite early on, Dave got out of position, but Kovacic came back, made a crucial interception, and I thought really helped Chelsea get on the front foot and, and just make those key passes. I thought Jorginho as well had a big game today and really did the simple things well, you know, never got caught out of position, but that was helped by Chelsea's pressing and feeling like they're in harmony as one. You know, we haven't seen that a lot. I feel sometimes maybe because of confidence, maybe because of lack of cohesion and uncertainty, when one player made a mistake, you don't see blue, blue shirts getting there instantly to rectify it. Today we did, and that's what Chelsea needed to do. The second half was a bit of a non-event, really. Chelsea did look more likely to score. There was a few hairy moments, Jota, but of course, Caballero saving it quite easily. In the end as well, when you look at the other result, Leicester, Man United, it really didn't matter what happened to Stanford Bridge because of course Man United winning that game 2-0 in the end. But I still think it was massive for Frank Lampard today to get that performance out of the team going into that FA Cup final. Timo Werner was in attendance today and a bit like Hakim Ziyech would have been happy to see his new team win. Um, this is massive for Chelsea. I cannot underestimate this and I really hope now of a full week to that FA Cup final. To me, the FA Cup final, I want to win it, of course. It's against Arsenal. It's a chance for silverware. It's a chance for Frank Lampard to win a trophy in his first season but that game is a bonus to me it really is I think the the ability for Chelsea to retain their Champions League spot this year yes I know there'll be caveats of the amount of points we gained this year how low it was um, look at the faults of maybe Tottenham and Arsenal but still for Frank Lampard who's had a lot of critics recently I think he deserves all the praise for this season and it sets up Chelsea so perfectly now for the summer to strengthen and going into next season in the Premier League where Chelsea, hopefully my aim next season, Chelsea's objective is not to be fighting for Champions League spots, um, not going to the last day hoping to potentially get a place in the Champions League. Chelsea have been in that slog now for three seasons. Antonio Conte, Maurizio Sarri and Frank Lampard, we need to now progress beyond that. Chelsea maybe we win you know I don't I don't think winning the league is a realistic target I have to be honest because I think a lot has to happen especially to targets um, us getting in bid targets goalkeeper left back centre back and that will working perfectly very quickly and you look at Liverpool you look at Man City but I want Chelsea to put up a fight for that even if they can't go all the way but be clear of the slog for Champions League qualification that is the big aim I think for Frank Lampard and the squad next year and for Chelsea recruitment wise we'll have a lot more to play with now in funds getting into the Champions League an incredible day. I'm sure you guys are buzzing like me. We can relax a bit now, go into that FA Cup final feeling really positive. The objective of the season has been completed. Super Frank has done it again, done wonders for Chelsea Football Club. I'm so happy. I'm sure we're going to dissect this more. I've got added time tomorrow so you can ask me your questions about today's game and more. 
Thank you guys as ever for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at Son of Chelsea. Also, hit that subscribe button. Um, we've had an amazing week on the channel, now past 10.5, which is incredible, getting closer to 11K. So if you can help out, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, hit it and the notification bell so you never miss an upload. And yeah, I'll see you again up the shelves. Yeah.